You know, Jackie, um, I'm not really sure about this Twitch thing. You know, before Todd joins, I think I think YouTube is the way to go, right? I wasn't prepared for this. I mean, we can we can try both. Why not both? <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode number two of Build On Weekly Season 2. Yeah, uh, it's season two and it's the year 2023. And welcome chat. I see a lot of folks here. Good afternoon. Hello, Maggie Dusher. Hello, KLP. Hello, Castle. Callie Savage. Hello, well, Jackie. Uh, Ganesh is here. Lazy Coder 3. All of the folks here. Welcome back to Build On Weekly. Uh, your weekly, your favorite weekly Twitch show, all about the cloud, technology, open source, community, and everything in between. And today we have something, something relatively special, something very meta, right? Um, I think somebody quote, somebody said that on Twitter. This is very meta. We're talking about streaming, on streaming. So we're going to be talking to our good buddy Todd about how does this Twitch thing actually work. Uh, how does the entire backbone, the technology behind it work? He's going to kind of give us a sneak peek into a couple of things. And he's all going to help me help me build my own Darko.tv, <laughs> you know, my own Twitch. Yeah, so if you've ever like wondered, you've watched the show and wondered like how we do the layout or how things fit, it won't be exactly the same as we do on the show, but it will be what people do to kind of get from I have a camera to I'm yeah. streaming, some of the steps that you would take to do that. So and we're excited actual, to talk about it today. Yeah, and also the actual tech on, on behind. Actually, there's a service you may not notice. If you're using AWS, there's a service on AWS that's basically Twitch. Uh, the, it, it, it is kind of the thing that helps Twitch run. So uh, hopefully Todd is going to tell us more about that in a moment. Um, so, hey, hello, ABH One Kudo. Welcome, welcome to the first time. Um, well, I, we hope you enjoy the show. It's happening every Thursday at 9, 9 p.m., 9 a.m. Pacific. It's um, it, it's fun. But before we kick it off, uh, for all the new folks there, let's introduce ourselves, Jackie. Jackie, tell us who you are and what you do. Sure. Hello, hello. I'm Jackie Grunrod, and I'm a huge fantasy fan. I like video games, and I also happen to like a lot of things DevOps-focused and writing code for the cloud, which is how I ended up working at AWS. Um, I'm a developer advocate here, which means that we do a lot of things like learning and teaching other people and the show, which is really okay. fun. I like it a lot. And I'm based in Vancouver, British Columbia. How about yourself? I'm basically the same as Jackie. I, I'm i also what they call a developer advocate, but I used to be something they called a system administrator. So I used to carry around a screwdriver, be angry at people and fix servers <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, I'm a developer Screwdriver ne necessary. <laughs> Fun fact, I had a job a long, long time ago and my boss, he wasn't into computers, but he thought he told me I need to carry around the screwdriver with me so people can People think I do a work, do something. So there you go, uh, <laughs> which is fun. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're, we both work for AWS and we love to talk to you all. So chat, this is all happening live so we can see all of your comments here. Uh, any questions, anything that comes up today, feel free to drop them in the chat. We'll love to discuss, we love to chat, we love to comment and well, all that fun things. Speaking of things we love, Jackie. Yes. We have a friend on today. We do. We do love friends. We absolutely love friends and we love streaming. So this is going to be great. <laughs> and everybody is friends. Everybody um, is friends. <laughs> everyone is friends. So we're going to bring a friend along. We have Todd here. Todd is going to join us in a second after a fancy transition. And Todd, Todd is going to talk to us all about how this entire Twitch thing works. And he's also going to help me write some JavaScript, which is going to be fun to say the least. <laughs> so so uh, without further ado, fancy transition time. Hello, Todd. Ta Hello, Todd. Hi, friends. I've got my screwdriver here. You got your screwdriver? Yeah. Uh, see, see, I was a senior system administrator. And I got she a had big a big one. So yeah. I had a big one. So this is that. just the one that I keep in my desk, uh, you know, for, for emergency, like emergency battery replacements, you know, things like that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we have Lab Every Day here. Hey, Duan. Welcome, Duan. Duan says hi. Um, awesome. So, Todd. Oh, that's Duan. Hey, Duan. How are you doing? Duan. That's the Duan. Yes. Uh, okay, Todd. Duan Lightfoot. Yeah. Duan, tell us who you are. Not Duan, sorry. Um, <laughs> hi, Duan. I'll be Duan for a minute. I'm cool with that. Nobody can be Duan besides Duan. Um, Todd, tell us who you are. What do you do? And hmm, 
I, I always like to throw a stupid question here. Yeah. What you are, what do you do, and what was the first social media you were on? Uh, wow. Okay, that's a good one. So, Todd Sharp, uh, I'm a developer advocate, as you both are. I love this job, by the way. I don't know. I, I, it's the best job in the world for me. I love technology. Uh, I love being on stage. I was at a theater, not like an amazing theater background, but like I have a theater background. I majored in journalism, so I love to write. Like this is like the absolute perfect job in the world for me because I get to do all of those things. And now I've kind of entered this new world of like streaming and video creation. And it's even better because like unlike theater where you only get one take, well, I guess live streaming, you only get one take too. But like in VOD, you know, if you're creating on demand content, you get as many takes as you want. But yeah, I work for this place. <laughs> this place. These people. These people. Those people. Uh, do I have well, actually, this place. So, <laughs> where you're watching us, so this place. Okay. This place. This place that you're all watching me on. Um, but I, again, I'm a developer advocate for the Amazon interactive video service. This thing. Okay. <laughs> and that means I create content. I talk to developers. I also am the host of a weekly show right here on the AWS Twitch channel. Uh, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. So last night, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's yeah. early for you guys right now, isn't it? It is early. Yes. We, would, we, we <laughs> like to start off our live streams with coffee. Coffee. What kind of coffee do you have today? It's coffee. Um. <laughs> Today I have a homemade latte that has two shots. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. Let's talk for a minute. I know we got an agenda and all that, but we got to rehash our small discussion from yesterday about why there's a copy machine behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> Did, have we discussed this on the stream yet? Yeah, Jackie, have, never, no, Jackie never shared that story. We so, have uh, never discussed this on the stream. I just yeah. did not have it one day, and then one day I did. Yeah. So, so Jackie, before you tell us your story, um, just uh, answering AB1, AB, ABH1 Kudo, uh, we're talking about Twitch streaming, basically how this entire Twitch platform works and some of the technology behind it. We're not doing Kafka streaming or like data streaming, just right. Twitch streaming. It's still fun. Mind you, stay, stay, stay along. So I can talk about Kafka streams if you want, but I don't think Twitch would be <laughs> cool with that. Yeah. So Jackie, tell us a quickly. Tell us about the coffee machine. The fact. <laughs> okay. Um, I will do the the very quick version. Is that it was a like shortly after I moved here, we were figuring out getting furniture and stuff, and um, we found this printer on the street by this mechanic shop. And we were looking at it like, do you think this still works? Do you, why is it here? And there, the like, mechanic actually just came straight out and was just like, do you want this printer? It works perfectly fine. And we were just like, okay. <laughs> anyway, it was like a four day affair because it did not fit in the car. So we went and got and rented like, a, I think we rented a different car and then that didn't work. And then we ended up having like a friend come and pick it up with us. And we needed like three people to move it into the truck. And then, yeah, it just getting it here has been a whole affair. And I actually still haven't checked if it works. <laughs> right. I, uh, and so as Darko and I said yesterday, we're going to come out, we're going to turn it into actually like you can hand write some like some scripts and have it scan that OCR it yep. and actually do like a cloud deployment right from your copy machine. So that's the plan. That's what we we're all coming to Vancouver. It's going to be that's a big be party. Um, Larise and Shine says i still want to know which social media talk oh, was oh, oh 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 yeah uh don't, don't, don't get on i'm a, i'm a late i was a late adopter for the whole social media and, and i'm actually still not like a huge social media guy um you have to start somewhere i my first account was probably facebook but maybe twitter but i've been on twitter for a long long time okay. long enough to see the death of it <laughs> so 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 no MySpace or anything like that. Oh, no. uh, you know, I had a MySpace, but I wasn't. I didn't use it a lot. Like That's now, I will say, and I got probably all y'all beat with this. I did have an Angel Fire page back in the day. <gasps> wow. So okay, okay. I I, I wow. Well, I, I did not have an Angel Fire, but I did have a Yahoo pages. I think Yahoo was a thing back then. Yeah. Um, I didn't have Angel Fire, but I had was it GeoCities? GeoCities, Geo yes. yes. Uh, Something and by else the way, chat, then, yeah. chat and Todd and everybody here, don't feel old. It's just <laughs> your experience. 
it's seasoned. It's, it's amazing, right? Like, like look at Todd. Todd is a Twitch wizard. Like, I'm the, the wizard. Players in his face are just showing that he has experience and age, and it's all wonderful. So don't be afraid of that. Good things come and, with age. And yet, I'm Chad like, is like, that. what is this boomer talk? <laughs> what is this boomer talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kudo, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Gen uh, X. Thank you very much. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Speaking of, of boomer talk, um, <laughs> let's talk about Twitch. <laughs> and... I thought you were going to say, let's, speaking of boomer talk, let's talk about Justin TV. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Justin. Oh, that, yeah, TV. Jackie's been on it since then, right? <laughs> yeah, so I Twitch, have, yes. Yeah, Twitch a long time ago wasn't called Twitch. It was called Justin TV. That's how it started. Then it became Twitch. So Todd here uh, is going to tell us a bit about how this thing works. And I think IBS is the, the technology behind it. And also why you, as a builder, should potentially look into building something like this. We're using that service. Maybe it's a thing for you. Right. So, um, Awesome. Uh, there, just want to answer a question here from Cloud Guru. Which AWS services do you recommend for data lake and uh, data analytics? For data lakes, usually you will look at lake formation. That's your simple thing. You dump data in an S3 bucket, just consume it from there. I'm not a big expert on this, but that's a, the that's a direction I will point you at. And when it comes to data analytics, there's a whole suite of data analytics tools when it comes to uh, AWS. So um, instead of me just trying to pull out services out of my hat, um, I would, I would, I would, I would suggest that you check out some of the data analytics tutorials we have on on our documentation, and just check out the general the tools and suites and services we have out there. Okay. Stop answering serious questions. I know, Ganesh. I'm sorry. I need to make sure that the folks here get their questions answered. Wait, I have oh. one last serious question. Oh. Todd. Damn. <laughs> Yes. Oh God. If okay. <laughs> the dark was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, so serious question. If you were to bring back MySpace, who would be in your top eight? <laughs> oh boy. Uh well of course you two, right? Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh my wife, who I love very dearly. My two kids who are teenagers and uh I love very dearly. So that's they five. They would not use MySpace anymore, I think. <laughs> huh? They would not use MySpace? Uh, they don't, I mean, they're not, like, they have Tom. Instagram accounts, but they're not Tom. big on social media either. Tom. Tom, Tom is, Tom is going to be there. I mean, everybody says Cali Salvage, La Rise and Shine, Mist Fairy. Tom <laughs> was definitely, you know, we all know MySpace Tom, so hello MySpace Tom. Right. Uh, um, so, so that's two spots left. Uh, my buddy Danny who I've yeah. known for 30 plus years and he lives far away. So we basically just keep in touch on Xbox these days and text messages. And that leaves one more slot. It has it's to be a human, I suppose. Just right? Bezos, of course, right? No, <laughs> we'll make pet, people made pet pages too. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes. so they did. We're going to we're going to reserve that last one and I'll reveal it late uh, later yeah, on yeah. in the show. So we'll Stay leave tuned. a little something to be desired. That's, that's what we call in the business a teaser. <laughs> okay, Todd, tell us. Let's let's kick it off. Like, yeah. so how does this? How does my face get from this camera to Twitch to, to MySpace? To <laughs> MySpace, right? How does MySpace get, get through Twitch to to Ganesh's screen? Gotcha. How, how does that work? Oh wow, where do we start? So, all right, I'm trying to think of how I can condense this in the shortest possible time so that we could actually get to building and writing code, but uh, we want to do it justice. So anybody, any developer, uh, DevOps person, um, builder, whatever you want to call them, anyone could spin up their own media server. There are even open source projects out there that you could use to turn up an EC2 instance, heck, get a server in your closet. Put it online as a server, get network it, run some open source stuff. Anybody could build their own media server and get it running and start live streaming within a day. It wouldn't be that hard if you have the knowledge, if you have a little bit of infrastructure and networking experience, anybody could do that. Would it get to Ganesh and Kelly, Kelly Savage and Nist Fairy and Rise and Shine? Would it get to them all? in a reliable 
high quality, low latency manner so that we could interact with them. I mean, I'm looking at the stream on my other monitor here and we're looking at like three seconds of, for myself, three seconds of latency right now between when my words come out of my mouth and they appear on that screen over there. Three seconds. And that's pretty darn cool because y'all are in Vancouver and Seattle and I'm in Georgia and we're talking to people all over the world in chat right now with an yeah. actual really cool way. So if I turned up my own server and I used an open source package, I would have to then learn about networking and build my own network perhaps, or just rely on, and, and let me show you, when we talk about networking, I want to show you a couple of slides and I know we don't like slides, but um, they're, they kind of work the best to illustrate this point. So let's do that. I think Duan is interested here in a bit of networking. So definitely. Uh, oh gosh, <laughs> now I'm feeling nervous because. Yeah, Duan, Duan is going to judge you just so you know. Uh, <laughs> All right. So if, if you have, uh, if you think about a typical web request, right? If you went to your command line right now and you type traceroute twitch.tv and you started looking at all the hops, you would see IP addresses related to the different points of presence and nodes that that request goes through to get from your computer to the server that serves twitch.tv to you. And typically, here's an example request, right? I live in Georgia. I made a request to one of my own servers and it went from my house in Georgia to a uh, around Richmond, Virginia, and then it went to DC. So three hops, not bad. Uh, 1.4 megabytes yep. took 172 milliseconds, right? So, so not too bad. Now, if you think about another web request, <laughs> this yeah. is a request to Brazil, right? So it went from my house to DC area. Believe it or not, I had to double check this when I saw it because I thought it was wrong. Went from DC to Peru back up to California, then down to Brazil. Now, 112K, 453 milliseconds, that's not terrible for a, for a web page. But if you think about live video, that just is not going to work, right? And if you turned up your own server in your closet and someone in Brazil wanted to view your stream and it had to go through all of those public networks to get to them, and we're talking about like low latency, high quality 1080 streams, that's just not gonna work, right? Yeah. So what you need is a network that is purpose built to deliver this kind of data in a, a fast, reliable, high quality, dedicated way. And that's what Amazon Interactive Video Service is. It's the network and the infrastructure that's purpose built and spent over how many years since Justin TV right. evolving into being this network that is dedicated and built out to deliver this kind of traffic. So that's kind of the five minute kind of pitch. Is that, does that kind of make sense? Am I, am I on the yes. right track? I here? mean, I, I fully understand, you know, how this kind of works and why would you choose this entire thing besides building it yourself, right? I have a whole story. I want to talk about media services, but that's a, that's a, that's a young Darko story for some <laughs> other, other time, but why would I build my own streaming platform? Why would you build your own streaming platform? Yeah. That's a, that's a great point. And, and to be honest with you, sometimes you wouldn't, right? I mean, we're using Twitch right now to deliver our message to our end users, and this works for us. But what if we wanted to build our own user generated content platform? What if we wanted to build a live shopping because Jackie is a sales representative for used copiers. And she wants to demonstrate these used copiers to all her followers on her Instagram account and really kind of get her sales going with this live copier business, live shopping copier business. So she wants to build her own platform and allow other people to come on like Darko to sell his like bootleg Commodore 64s. And he can demonstrate these all in the live shopping experience. So. If okay. we wanted to build our own platform, we can then custom brand it. We can control 
all of this content that comes in and out, we could basically build our own Twitch and specify, uh, I don't want to say our own Twitch, but our own live streaming yeah. user-generated content platform with a sp specific purpose built. And we can monetize that. We could charge our users if we wanted to. Um, if we're doing a sports broadcasting, if we're doing um, educational platform or a conference platform, and we wanted to build our own application, custom brand it, customize the experience, all of that we could do ourselves with Amazon yeah. Interactive Video Service. And I'm not a marketing guy, but that's my best kind of elevator pitch there. Exactly. Awesome. I mean, fair point. And to kind of summarize this for Kudo, um, basically the diagram shows that if you're, if, you're, if you're hosting this yourself, right? So if I would host my own media services at home and Ganesh from London wants to join or, or folks from San Diego or something from Brazil or from Australia, from, you know, whatever, um, it may take you a lot of hops to actually get to my server sitting in my closet, right? If you do something like IVS, interactive video service, the thing that powers Twitch, you have pops or points of presence. Basically, you have a much faster beeline from your home to the actual live stream, right? right. You don't have to make these 12, 1600 hops. Uh, of course, the more hops you have, the more latency there is and more latency between us and chat. And it's just a whole big problem. Right. Yeah, it's 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 kind of a thing, and and you know this is specifically for live streaming. But you know there's there's a comment here from Osfisa saying that they saw some traffic going over a node in Singapore. I'm sure Duan here can talk about things that can help <laughs> reduce the amount of hops in your networking cloud networking setup. But um, I'll, I'll leave that for Duan. To kind of well, I mean, I think you could talk about CDNs and that kind of thing. Yeah, but exactly. um, you know, the other benefit, I guess, that I didn't speak about that is a huge benefit of IVS is our player SDK is designed such that obviously there are various networks and devices in use across the world. Some people don't have amazing access to broadband like other people have. And the player SDK will actually actually intelligently select the best if we're if we're talking about a standard channel, which is a we can go into that later but it will intelligently select the best quality stream for the network experience, right? So if you're streaming on a very low speed connection, yeah. it might drop you down to 480, but you're still getting a uh, low latency stream, you know, based on your network, the best possible yeah. for your network. So it's a very, there's all kinds of, we could spend hours talking about this, yeah. but we want to build. We do want to build. That is true. But I like this. This has been like a really great example well, explanation so far. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, and also like like one of the things I've I've, I've seen people is like people ask me, hey, I want to I want to present something to a wide audience, but I don't want it to be public. So Twitch is not an option. I want right. this to be an invite only. Of course, you can go your zooms, your chimes, or whatnot. But if you want to make it a bit more streamlined, um, you can build your own thing. So here you go. IVS could be a position for that. So Jackie, let's build a thing. Let's build. Jackie TV. Uh, oh, we're building Jackie TV. Oh, boy. <laughs> Instead of Justin TV, let's build Jackie TV. And I, think, I, think, I think one of the things that's going to happen here is that Todd is going to teach me how to do a few things when it comes to um, building my own Jackie TV. I love and, this because last week I was in the hot seat and this week you're in the hot seat. <laughs> and this week. I need to write JavaScript, which is mm. uh, which is the best language in the world. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's certainly the language in the world. It is certainly the language. I'll, I'll give it that. Right, I'm, I'm not a fan of JavaScript. Don't ask me why, but I, I think it's the language. I think it's the most important language. And well, language. your 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 background is, I think, a lot different than a lot of builders. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of that, um, let's share a screen. Okay. It's warm in my office. Of course. It's Georgia, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Pink says, does Chime this use under the hood? I Chime uses something different. I think maybe do some elements of this, but ultimately uh, Chime is its own platform. Actually, a lot of, some other tools use Chime as a platform to deliver their audio and video. So there you go. Correct. Chime uh, and Chime is kind of has a different purpose, right? Chime is a many to many kind of exactly. meeting type tool where IVS is like a Twitch ish kind of 
thing if you think yeah. about it that way one to many i guess exactly um oh kudo says fun question right use case of ivs is create a twitch clone so this means we can create a competition to twitch absolutely yes. absolutely yeah, yeah. do it yeah. do, do it, it. Cool. make it happen let's see it and i mean <laughs> Let's be honest, like you have Amazon Prime video thing running on, on AWS, but you also have Netflix <laughs> right. and many others. And that's okay because it's the cloud. So, okay. Speaking of okay, let's, let's do some, <laughs> let's do some, um, some JavaScript. Yes. I'm going to go into my workplace. Uh, let's create a project, project, uh, MK Beer and Jackie TV. <laughs> okay, Todd, what are yes, we going to be doing today? All right, so we have Node installed. We have the AWS CLI installed just to kind of set the table, right? We have uh, Node, yes, version 19.4. We have the CLI 2.9.12. Okay, perfect. Uh, do we have, just for fun, we're going to need an HTTP server. So do we have HTTP server package installed from NPM? We do not. Let's do okay. it. Uh, so we NPM do an NPM install. install. Let's do globally, right? Globally, correct. Server, and then I, oops, see, there see. Uh, sudo npm install HTTP server. Password one, two, three. <laughs> uh, yes, the best password. <laughs> Hunter two is the best password. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, so let us. Uh, so what, what, are, what are we going to be doing before yeah. I start running anything? What's the plan? And how are we going to execute on that? Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. We have 32 minutes, so let's, hopefully we can get this all done. If not, we can always kind of copy paste. If we run slow, I'll, I'll give you the right code. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a channel. And what a channel is, is exactly what it kind of sounds like, right? If you're looking at twitch.tv slash AWS right now, okay. slash AWS is the channel. Okay. And every user that signs up for your user-generated content platform, Jackie TV, will get their own channel. So you can think of channels as this kind of unique artifact that every user has that allows them to broadcast to their viewers. And for that reason, um, we're probably not going to use something like the CDK or okay. um, CloudFormation or, uh, to, to create these assets because they're going to be created every time a new user signs up. Okay. We're going to use the SDK, the AWS JavaScript SDK for Node V3. Okay. And that way, when we have our login, our, our new users registered, we create a channel. Once we create a channel, after we create a channel, we're then going to create a web broadcasting tool. Okay. Now, if you're a live streamer or you're familiar with live streaming, if you're not, typically you're going to use some sort of broadcasting software to broadcast to your Twitch, to your YouTube. And I heard that comment y'all were talking about before I came on I'm and sorry. I'm not very happy about it. <laughs> I think we should go back to BBS. That's what we should do. Yes. Yes, exactly. All right. So no, anyways, um, so OBS stream lab, something like that. Uh, and you plug in your Twitch information and, or your, or your, channel information and you stream to it. So we're, okay. in order to avoid that, like we're using here today, StreamYard, we're going to create a browser-based experience to allow these users on Jackie TV to broadcast without having to install something separate and anything like that. So we're okay. gonna do that. And then finally, we're going to create a playback experience for that stream. And that sounds like a lot of stuff to do, but I really, I mean, it's not a lot of code and I think we can get this done in 30 minutes, 29 minutes. So let's, let's do um, that. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to do is create an NPM project. Let's do NPM init. NPM init, project so name. We can just accept all the defaults. Just enter on through blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Chris, um, as we're kind of getting started, is there like any documentation we can share with the viewers if they want to follow along? So- um, Or is it more of a share at the end? <laughs> Let's share at the end because there are a couple different steps. Uh, there are some documentation, uh, different blog posts, uh, but we can kind of share those. For, for this actually specific part, there is a doc link and I will post that to the chat. Awesome. Pardon so me. 
so just just before we kick it off, uh, mm-hmm. it's kind of halfway between in the show. A lot of new people join. Hi, folks. Welcome. This is Build On Weekly, episode two of season two. And today we're streaming on streaming. We're talking about how this entire Twitch platform works. We have Todd from Twitch here. And Todd is teaching me how to build my own Twitch TV channels. Not TV channel. My own Twitch called Jackie TV. So that's going to be fun. Okay. All I right. made a project thing. Let's, we have a project. Let's do. do NPM install the at AWS dash SDK slash client IVS. And what this is doing is going to give us uh, the necessary module that contains all of the AWS SDK commands okay. and clients that we need. So now we can create a file, nano or whatever, vim, vim, nano. I use nano. I'm not a That's hardcore. Okay. That's okay. All right. So <laughs> first thing we need to do is import the uh, IVS client. So we do an import statement. There we go. We want to do IVS client and create channel command. I Just so folks, I have, I have a little doc next to me. I'm kind of like looking at it as, as Todd is telling me just so I'll be sure to type out what, what's needed. But if I make a mistake, it's your fault. Uh, <laughs> From the, there you go. And <clears throat> next thing we need to do is construct an instance of the IVS client. Right. So we say new IVS client. And uh, typically what you would do is pass a configuration. Okay. Because you have the uh, AWS CLI installed, it's going to, by default, pull your information from your config file. So we don't have to pass any credentials or anything, okay. which is kind of nice. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is create an input object. And this input object is going to contain the various uh, properties that are required by the command to create the channel. So if we declare a variable called input and uh, pass the name of the channel, the latency mode, and the type of channel. Okay, before I do that, um, Mm -hmm. chat, who wants to be input? We're naming variables after chat, chat. So chat, who (laughs) wants to be the input variable constant here? Um, Make sure to... uh, Yell it in the chat so we can we can add you. So const who? Come on, chat. I'll give you I'll give you a second. It's one of you. It's one of you, right? You of course you want to be a variable in a JavaScript. Savage. Wow. Um, savage. Sav? No, no. That, oh, nope. Cali. Okay, it's Cali Savage. Right there you go. Cali Savage is input. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, wait a second. Let me get back to this little code. Okay. Then I know what I have to do. So what, what is this input file? Input, yeah. input. Uh, the, the, so these are the various um, parameters that are required by the create channel. And there are uh, different things that we can um, pass, like the latency mode and the type of channel. We're going to create a basic channel. And the difference between basic, and I'll let you just keep typing. Uh, yeah, you it sh- just talk about it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it should be um, uh, not hyphenated. It should be latency. Oh, uh, sorry. Yep. It's okay. So uh, difference between standard and basic is um, essentially what happens with that stream when it gets to our data center, a basic channel and, and pricing has to do with this different business needs have to do with your decision in this. But if you think about a Twitch channel, um, it's very, very similar and uh, analogous to a Twitch channel. So Twitch partners receive transcoded streams, okay. which allows them to get the really good high quality and adaptive bitrate streams that will adapt to the end user's bandwidth and these kind of things. So the people who are bringing in the viewers to Twitch get these really high quality. And those are what in IVS we call standard streams. So a standard stream is transcoded. A basic stream is transmuxed. What they say is transmuxed. And I I did an amazing analogy with this and I have it... uh, on my channel, I used water pipes and kind of showed you the difference. So a um, little okay. plug for that. But so a basic channel, transmuxed, input okay. is, let's say, 480, 720. Output is 480. It, it matches exactly, right? Yeah. So you get input and output are the same. So with transcoded, you get an input in and you get all these different outputs. It's just okay. one one to one with basic. And that and that's cheaper. It's uh, You don't get that adaptive bit rate, but sometimes that works and if you have a low kind of low level like my uh twitch channel low low audience frequent viewers low viewership channel it works right it works yeah 
Yeah. I mean, I'm a simple man. My standards are very low, so I'm okay with the basic. So, okay, he says like we... he's not streaming from a studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do we do with Kali Savage 77 or uh, the input uh, variable here? What gotcha. do we do so, so what we do now is we uh, construct a create channel command. So we say command equals new create channel command, and we pass it that input. So it's going to have, uh, there we go. It's going to okay. have all that. And then we use the client to send that command to the uh, server, okay. to the uh, backend. So await client.send, Kelly Savage. Oh, it's command, a, sorry. Savage, command, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm intentionally putting command and response in the same just traditional thing, um, just because of the, you know, that's how we usually do stuff in, in our SDK, but other, other variables we're going to be naming after you folks on chat. So console log, and then I guess we're going to see what the response is. Correct. Um, and when we run this, I'm trying to... So we're going to delete this very, very soon, this channel. Okay. Uh, we are going to expose some sensitive variables that uh, will come back with the response, me okay. meaning mainly the stream key. So just wanted to kind of make you aware that what you're kind of going to be sharing right now is... Uh, if somebody else were to happen to grab this type, actually remember every single character and type yeah. that out. But anyways, so if we run this, we can run this with node create channel .js. And we should see, oh, Darko okay. doesn't know how fault, to... so, all right, I forgot to put this in the docs, my bad. So let's uh, go into package.json okay. and type add one more property within that uh, uh not no uh so top level property okay. so yep right uh, after main let's do on line six okay uh type uh t-y-p-e type okay yep okay. uh and then in quotes module m-o-d-u-l-e and then a comma after that and okay. now it should work my fault i should have documented it's okay that. I don't know. There we go. Perfect. <gasps> don't look at my. my <laughs> <laughs> so we have a couple artifacts here, and we have a metadata object that returns like the status code, all that, all that fun stuff. Okay. Then we have a channel object, and that returns the ARN, the Amazon resource name for the channel. Okay. Authorized is a property that says whether or not uh, and we. Boy, we could get deep into every one of these things, but authorized is basically a way to give you private channels, right? To okay. uh, do public private key pairs to, so that only authorized users are viewing this. So yes. it's kind of a nice feature. Okay. In just end point, uh, let's copy that out and put that somewhere where we can remember that. Uh, the, the, what is it? Just, just end point. Just end point. Right okay. Yep. Okay. okay. So latency mode name. There we go. Oh, they're gonna look me just write this yep, down. Yep. Okay. All right. So uh, playback URL. We're gonna need that as well. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. And we're also gonna need down there stream key value so that SKUS West. Okay. So just like if you went onto Twitch today and uh are you pulled up obs and you wanted to broadcast to a twitch channel you have a stream key all that fun thing ivs is no different you also have an ingest endpoint and a stream key for yeah. ivs okay uh as well as a playback url and that's what we're going to use to playback our feed eventually our stream okay. so now that we have these three values what we can do is we can create a html file okay and we'll call that web broadcast.html Okay, so I have that little thing here. I'm actually gonna so I'm 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 gonna copy paste a bunch yep. of these things just just so we are aware of um, just so I don't have to really type HTML because that's like, <laughs> the least interesting thing to write. <laughs> like, laugh at me by right when I write JavaScript and it's all fun and, and, and everything. But no, absolutely. Um, I am gonna I'm just gonna remove this for a sec. Sure. Open up the little key here. Uh, Jackie, how are you yeah. feeling about this so far? Oh, I'm feeling great. I've just been yeah. like watching chat, having a good time with chat as we're going through with it. Right. Um, it seems good so far. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we um, we did yeah, have a so question. We had quite a few questions, actually. 
So authorized is like subscriber only content or something. Exactly. Um, that is kind of essentially a way for you to protect your content so that it can only be views like subscriber only. Exactly. Uh, it's funny. I didn't realize you said subscriber only, but yes, exactly what it is. <laughs> if you wanted to limit your content to only certain subscribers, the authorized is a way to, to lock that down. Okay. So we have HTML. Excellent. Beautiful. So we have a script tag on line seven. Uh, what we have down in the body is a password input, and that is for where we'll plug in our stream key. Okay. Uh, on the rendered UI, that is where we will plug in our stream no. key. And that's just to avoid pasting that into okay. our JavaScript and storing that, you know, um, and basically we don't want that checked into source okay. code or anything like that. We have a canvas and that canvas is going to be where our web broadcast is previewed so that when we open up the screen and we see ourselves, we have that feedback like, like we have on the screen here um, on what we're going to be broadcasting. Then we have a button that's going to toggle the broadcast on and off. So within our script tag, the first thing we want to do is, um, I'm looking at my notes here. Let's add a listener for the DOM content loaded event. Okay, I, I'm going to type this out. I'm going to keep typing and you explain to us what this is. Yes, sir. So uh, this listener is basically when the uh, DOM, the document object model, is ready for us to, um, is ready to have, it's ready. Uh, and this will be when we can do things like add it add listeners to HTML elements for click handlers and things like that. So uh, the first thing Darko is doing on line nine is setting a global variable for a Boolean value for whether or not this uh, channel is currently broadcasting. It's going to be false by default. Um, and, and I know let's we're doing this on the very quick and easy kind of method and setting a global variable. Let's not get into the best practices and why or why not we should do that. For demo purposes, this works fine. On line 11, this is a very quick and dirty way to get permissions for the microphone and camera. If yeah. you look at our web broadcast SDK docs, and I will post a link to those in the chat in just a second. If you look at those, there's kind of a more full featured example of how to get permissions and uh, set some variables on whether or not try catch all that fun stuff. This is the very quick and easy way to get permissions. Um, the next thing okay. Darko is going to do is on line uh, right after line 11. Uh, it, we're going to go back up into that handler. Oh, in the handler. Okay. Yes. okay, okay. Everything we're doing from now on is going to be in there. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. Let's do it like that. There we go. So, all right, we're going to create a broadcast client. And if we look, uh, scroll down, Darko, if you could, before you do that, to, oh, you know what? I actually scroll up. My fault. So line six there. This is the web broadcast SDK. This is our SDK that enables Darko to create this instance of this client that he's going about to do. Uh, I'll, again, I'll post those docs. I'll do that right now. So posting to chat. Web broadcast. Okay. So within that package, you have the IVS broadcast client and <clears throat> Darko is going to call the create method, which is a static method. And he's going to pass that an object with some configuration values. The first value on line 14 is the stream config. Uh, and that's essentially what kind of channel, what kind of quality do we want this stream to be in? And because we created a basic channel, he's going to use a basic full HD landscape profile. So sideways, right? We and really need that high quality for the printers. I just want to put that out there. Exactly. How will this people know true. what they're buying if it's not in the highest quality? This is true. This is true. Uh, there's also, there's, there's a number of various, uh, object uh, static uh, values that you could use. You could do basic landscape, which is just 480. Right. We're going to use basic full HD landscape. And so, the point is the one that we got before. So that's why I copy pasted it from the notes file. Um, and I got the ingest endpoint here as a, as a variable, right? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, so on uh, line, after line 16, we're going to now, now that we've created the client, we can add, add a preview of 
our live stream to that local canvas. So uh, before we do that chat, who want, did we have anybody else who wanted to be a variable? Who wants to be the preview? Uh, Castec, Castec, okay. Castec, I think we can we can do this. Um, <laughs> Castec is the preview. Um, all right. Keep so on we're going to do document get element by ID, and we're going to pass the ID of our canvas element, and that is just the word preview. Perfect. So uh, at this point, our client that was constructed on line 13, we called the attach preview method. We pass it the DOM element of the canvas yep. element on our page and voila, we have okay. the preview attached to our canvas. So it's visible. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is get our microphones and cameras. And we do that with a call to navigator.media devices dot enumerate devices and this is going to return all of the available microphones and cameras that are connected to darko's machine and <clears throat> pardon me um we could use this in a normal and not a normal application but in an application we could use this to like populate a drop down and and have that drop down show all of the different cameras so you could let the user choose um we're going to kind of cheat with it and we're just going to grab the first element and uh, use that. But what Darko is doing right now is just creating two different variables containing one contains only the video devices. The other contains only the audio devices. And this is just so that we can uh, grab the, the, the first microphone and, and camera in that. Okay. So now we're going to get a stream from the webcam and we do that with navigator.mediadevices.getUserMedia. And <clears throat> the user, uh, get user media accepts an object as well. And within that object are just various kind of filters that um, we can use to tell it certain things. And so the first thing, uh, I, yeah, yep. Okay, you're doing right. I thought I, I thought uh, <laughs> you're typing so fast. I, I can't. Uh, uh, keep up with you. I am so, trying my best. I'm trying my best, and I'm, I'm going to be actually blown away, folks, if this all works. No, you're doing amazing. So device ID. Nope. Device ID. Yep. All right. So Darko is passing the device ID, and this is just looking at that array of video devices, and um grabbing the first one in that array. Uh, we're kind of cheating with that, but uh, that's okay. It's uh, And these values that he's doing right now are the height and width for the stream. He He's hard coding them here at 1920 by 1080. There are constants available. I wanted to make it easier for Darko to type, so I had him hard code these values normally. Uh, and you could check my blog post that I'll post a link later on you could use the constant value from the configuration that makes life a little easier. So now he's going to get a stream for the mic and we're almost there. I'm going to make you copy and paste the last ha click handler because right. we're, we're 10 minutes away. So he's going to add the create a microphone stream again with get user media. This one he's going to filter by the audio device ID. And I should kind of throw it out there while you're typing, uh, to fill some of the air and, uh, prevent dead air if you look at line 30 uh chat and see that uh normally you would pass a device id directly to device id but when you pass an object like like darko's doing on line 30 and have a key of exact you can guarantee that the device that you're selecting is that device it's some weird thing with browsers that if you just pass a device id it kind of treats it just like a suggestion and it may or may not pick that one so always use exact like darko did on line 30 okay. so that's all right to know yeah um just quickly we do have some comments in chat which are kind of funny we've got by the way darko slaying the coding on vim meanwhile i have four editors and still use too much autocomplete <laughs> i want to point out that this was our first vim comment which is far further into the stream than I normal am, i'm surprised yeah <laughs> um and we do have a question for todd how is the getting of cameras and mics platform agnostic it seems like it should be dependent on the platform the person streaming the video um i think it's a browser thing right yeah, I mean, enumerate devices and get user media, I'm pretty sure are all um, 
cross browser at this point. I don't think there's Ooh. any browser specific concerns for those, um, but I can double check on that. So, so what Darko's doing at this point in for, on line 42 and 43 is on that broadcast client, he's adding those streams that we just grabbed to the broadcast client. So he's adding a video input device, an audio input device. He's the second argument there is the name, just a unique identifier for those. And um, just let me, uh, let me copy paste something because yeah, I want yeah. to, to add this last thing before instead of instead of typing it. I yep, wanna, yep, yep. I want to go and, and do stuff. Okay, explain. All right. So um, this allows us to actually we can actually layer devices. So if you see on line forty three, his index is zero. If we wanted to grab a second camera, if we wanted to grab a desktop screen share. We could use get display media instead of get user media. And that will use that familiar, that will prompt the browser to give you that familiar uh, dialogue to select which screen you want to share. So you could do things like create a screen share with the video in the bottom right corner. Uh, you could do multiple cameras. You could do multiple audio devices. You could do a pre recorded video. And actually, in two weeks, the uh, amazing. Linda Habib and myself are going to show you how to create a lo-fi radio station using oh, cool. a lot of this similar stuff. I love that. I love so that. tune in to streaming yeah, on streaming cool. for that. So, so if I would run this right now, yes, this should work to an extent. I, I am, I am ninety-nine percent sure this is going to work. Okay, chat. Um, F's in the chat. <laughs> F's in the chat already. F's well, we haven't even chat. tried F's yet. In the chat. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me let me so, okay. So, how do I run this? So, uh, we are just going to run an HTTP server. So, HTTP dash server, and this is uh, because we installed that globally. Mm -hmm. We can now go to eighty eighty on localhost. Okay, let me switch. To He's like, page. oh, this is Linux. I don't have a browser. What? What's the <laughs> can I use e-links? Can I use e-links? I don't. Is this how it should work? Web yeah, that's it. All right. So Ooh. it's asking you for permission. Click allow. Uh, allow. Okay. And come on, where's it at? Come on, camera. Yeah, it, yeah, I see that it's using my camera. Um, I see my camera light. Right, let's on. try to reload the page. Just. Uh... Oh, you broke it. <laughs> All right, open the open the dev tools console. We might have an error. Uh, okay. Chicken. Command shift I go to console. It's not the same camera you're trying ah, to use. For another right? client. Oh, because you renamed it. You didn't name it client, did you? You named it like Cali Savage or something. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, so... look what you do. You change my code and it yeah. doesn't work. Sorry. That's okay. Now we can just go fix it live. <laughs> Yeah, Project that's you know what? I, honestly, this is my favorite part about live streaming <laughs> when stuff breaks because, as a viewer at least, it makes me feel like, oh wow, other people have problems too. You know, things yeah. break. Wait a minute. No, we did name it right. I did name it client. Yeah, I did name something, but I, we only did used you... it. You only uh, use it. We only use it in one one instance here. All right, so let's... we. Where, where do we go back that? to the bro to the uh, browser yeah, yeah. for a sec. Um, that. So I'm called reference is not defined. 43. 43. What's 43? Defined. Oh, you're outside. Oh. You you put it outside of the function. Look at line 40. You closed it. Yes, 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 yes. I see it. I see it. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Once more. Refresh. <gasps> Yay! All right. So, so you've got a preview right now. Now, if we click the toggle broadcast button, we should see a message. Oh no! Oh, okay. So we need to paste that stream key in your input, into okay. that text input. Let's do that. Chat right. celebrating with us. Woohoo! Uh, notes. The stream key is, I guess, this one in the bottom, right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Paste it in. Paste it. Did I paste it? I cannot paste it. Why can't I paste it? Come on, Darko. That's a, that's an extra Linux feature that you didn't install. Yep, you forgot to get that package. Okay. <laughs> also, it costs Follow $2 broadcast. a month. Broadcast started. Now, uh, we have four minutes. Do we have a hard okay. stop here? Uh, I think we do, but that's okay. So, 
Is there something we can do? Yeah, really we can fast? go to the IVS console and we could see our broadcast. Oh God, okay. Or we could go to, uh, let's see here, hang on. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Let's, let's go to debug.ivsdemos.com. But this will work, this will work, this will work. So let's search for Amazon interactive video service. Who my laptop wants to fly away if it doesn't like <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fan going in. Okay, demo. So click on our channel, scroll down. Look at that, <gasps> Look at that. We, we created a live stream and a broadcasted it from a browser within 25 minutes. So, so, and, so the health thing, healthy, does it talk about me? Do I look healthy? Is it, yes, is that it is exactly healthy? what it okay. means. It's, it, it's, uh, it's doing AI behind the scenes to actually check your blood pressure, your <laughs> uh, your cholesterol level, your yes. blood uh, blood sugar, all of that good stuff says you're let, healthy. Let, so. let me give chat a chance to, to look at themselves. There you go, chat. Look at yourselves. <laughs> That's you. You are, you are somewhere here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so I will, amazing. Uh, it is amazing. Is it not? It's amazing. So I think I'm going to post a gist in can the, you post a gist? yeah, I think that would be really good. So, and this is the web player that you need to get this playing back. And it's like five lines of JavaScript. So <laughs> beautiful. So, so Twitch, there you go. You can, you can, this is a meta thing. Now you can see it's a stream of the stream being streamed. <laughs> Um, it streams all the way down. It's it's fascinating. This I I am I am a huge fan of this. This I uh, do believe that makes Lad do one suggestion of creating a stream to another stream, and it's on the stream happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, folks, make sure to check out the, the the Todd's link. This is the this is the instructions how to do all of these things I've done. Now, if you're doing this on your AWS account, there may be some cost to it. I'm not sure if there's IBS free tier, uh, but no, just so there sure. is a free tier, uh, okay, basic is. channel, five hours of input every month. Uh, uh, 100 hours of output every month, 13,500 chat messages every month. Check Beautiful. out dev.to slash t slash Amazon IBS for all kinds of more blog posts. Amazing. So, folks, one last thing. Um, this has been fun, Todd. I think amazing. I wish we can have longer streams. I think we need to figure something out. I'll we do it again. Up. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll get yeah. Todd again. Uh, join us as well. So, before you go up, wave for chat. The video of this is going to be available here on Twitch. So, if you missed something, if you want to follow through, watch me type javascript it's going to be here so you can check it out you can try it for yourself but most importantly we want to make sure we want to know if you like the show or not so in the chat right now i paste the link to the survey tell us was this episode good was it bad and also tell us what would you like to see in the future i saw a bunch of comments about cdk but do put those things in the comments because we use that to kind of do more episodes right so absolutely Make sure to give we us We actively a... have, we track all that information from all of our episodes. Yeah. And when we go into planning, we have that sheet up with us. So please put it in there. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to terminate my IBS now because my laptop is going to blow up. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So just, you know. And, and that, normally, it, I, I should throw it out there that it typically doesn't use a ton of resources. But yeah. I imagine with everything else you've got going on and all that good stuff. It's, stream, it it's streaming the desktop to, to StreamYard. It's streaming the camera to IBS. Right. It's a whole lot of things. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, we have to go. Uh, Todd, thank you very much for being here. Join us next week, Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 11, uh, 11 no, noon Eastern, 6, 6 p.m. Central European time, Twitch at TV service. We have a guest from the community coming to show us some more technology next week. Eight, eight, sl eight, from slot, in my top eight, eight slot in my top eight is my boss, Lara. She's awesome. So. <laughs> and, uh, love you, you all. Thank you so much for, for having me. Appreciate See it. See you all. Bye. Thank you for joining.